everyone. Today I'm sitting in the hangar with James Waitman um, with his plane behind me, which I'm lucky enough to interview. He flew in the 2023 air show with Freedom Formations as Plane 13, who let all the smoke behind. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of smoke. Yeah. <laughs> so give uh, us a rundown on your plane. So the the one that's here, that's a it's a Vans RV8. So they're a USA designed kit built aircraft. Uh, this one was built in Australia. It's uh, two seat in line, so the passenger sits in the back, pilot's in the front. It's about this particular one's about 300 horsepower. Wow! So it's goes pretty. Quick. It's around about double what a lot of them are. Yeah. So it goes quite well for the air show scene. Yeah. So how fast can it get up to? This one will do 200 knots, so it's about 380 kilometres an hour. That's crazy. And do you take it that max speed? A bit? Given yeah, and during the air show we're going all, almost up to that. Oh wow, all flying together. That's yeah, and um, down, down past the building is Service Paradise, it was a pretty good view. Yeah, that's incredible. So, what got you into flying? Oh, it was just a hobby, it probably came from her parents, uh, they had an interest in it. And yeah. Anything motorsport sort of led on to that. Yeah. Uh, car racing, boat racing. Oh, that's the next anything thing. Anything fast. Yeah. <laughs> so what age did you get your pilot licence or uh, were in your first plane? From when I was 17. Yeah. Got, okay. got my licence and then just moved up from there. As soon as you could. Yeah. yeah. Step by step into the aerobatic side of it and yeah. keep on going. So you're a stunt pilot as well on that side of things? Yeah, in the just getting into it now with the air show side with this specific air show. Yeah. yeah. Great, great fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Was that your first air show was this yeah. year? Yeah. That's awesome. So what would you say is your favourite aerobic manoeuvre or stunt? What, what's the most challenging one that you've completed oh, it, and given it a good shot? There's all, all kinds of things. You just go out there and have fun and, yeah. and see what happens. You get into the advanced competition side of it, it gets, uh, starts to get complicated. Yeah, and have you done that and gone through that? I've uh, begun to, yeah. yeah it's, but... um, it's a different sport to the, the air show side. It's very precise. Yeah, yeah. What would you say your favourite manoeuvre is being up in the air? Pro probably in something like the pits, uh, a torque roll, where you get, go up and stop and start to fly backwards. <laughs> oh, that's so... Fall down. And how long did it take you to master that and get that down pat where you weren't it, shitting yourself it, on the <laughs> way down? That, that's the thing, just having the confidence. It's, you're always getting better every time you fly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and just working on it all the time. Yeah, so what, there would obviously have to be a lot of mental preparations before you get in a plane to do something like that. What would you say yeah. some of your, what would be your advice to someone who's just about to jump in the plane to give that, give that manoeuvre a shot for their first time? What would you say the mindset to get in would be? Yeah, and it's the same with any flying, whether you, whatever you're doing, if you're going out sightseeing, you, you think about it on the ground first. Yeah. And then you go out and fly the plane. So, yeah, plan, and plan there, There's always a lot more preparation on the ground before you even get in the air. Yeah. What, what are some of those things? For, like, a display, you'd, you'd walk through it, you see the... It looks funny, you see all the teams out next to the aircraft walking around, doing things, they're not dancing, they're, they're walking through the sequence. Wow, okay. So it's really... You really have to plan out every single yeah. step. and everything's written down. And, um, yeah. And have fun. Yeah, yeah, have fun. <laughs> So with the formation that you were in, there were other planes involved, is that correct? Yeah, so, so, so there's uh, 13 of us all up. Oh wow, okay, yeah. So 12, 12 RVs like this one and a Yak 55. Wow. So what was the planning to coordinate all of you to go at, at, be in the air at the same time? Because obviously that's not a common thing for 13 yeah. planes to be side by side. Yeah, and there's a lot of planning in, in that and it's about, about a year of preparation to yeah. get that show on the road. Wow. And we've all we've had a few years of experience before that as well. Yeah. So do you all is there radios in the planes? Do you talk to each other or is it purely from practice memory? It, it's a bit of both. Everything's from practice and we, we go through everything step by step on the ground, how we're gonna do it. Yeah. Once we're in the air we're talking to each other on the radio. Uh, you'll hear us when they say freedom check in, it's two, three, four, so on, up to thirteen. Yeah, so they make sure you're all in there yeah, and ready for everyone it. Everyone can hear what's going on. Yeah. Did you fly off from here for the air show? Yeah. Yeah. So we're based out of Southport Airport, oh, okay. which is only for me. It's only a five minute flight away. Oh wow! Yeah, from here. Yeah. yeah so, and it, most of the team came up from Sydney for that. Oh wow, that's awesome. So, did you get to fly with anyone that you've aspired to look at some of their manoeuvres and 
Yeah, it, just after the air show, we got an uh, opportunity to fly with Matt Hall and Emma McDonald. Yeah. We doing a formation flight with that. That was, that was a great experience. And you took part in that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah three, uh, three of our team, and those two and a couple other people. Oh, that's awesome. What was your favourite part about the air show and what, yeah, what makes you want to do it again? Just the, apart from the flying, the, just the experience of it, it was a perfect place for an air show. Yeah. Right on the beach there. Yeah, it would have been a beautiful view from your end as well. It was, yeah. Yeah, and just would it, was the nature different, obviously, to normal flying? Because all those people are down there watching you. All, all eyes on you are and, in the sky, which is obviously an unlikely thing, everyone to be looking right at you whilst you're doing your yeah. flight. Uh, and that's the thing, we, we're flying, we're focusing on it, but you glance occasionally and notice there's 200,000 people. <laughs> yeah, it's, crazy. Uh, Almost scare you a little bit. Yeah, ma makes you uh, fly precisely, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, more precisely, yeah, that's for sure. What would you, what's your advice to any young person wanting to get into the stunt, being a stunt pilot or being a pilot in general? What would you tell I th them? I think if you're interested in it, just go and do it. Yeah. Just see if you like it and it, it's an addiction, you get hooked on it and uh, yeah, it goes up from there. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for talking with me today. And All I good, yes, thank you. You have an amazing plane. Thank you, they're good fun. They're good fun. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs>